I feel like everybody was just trying to get to the bottom of it. And we're talking about the, the Gal Gadot situation yeah. with James Gunn and Peter Safran. Um, I think, you know, in my opinion, we even reported on it and then had to take it out of the show because it was just hearsay. Um, but in my opinion, I feel like in the early negotiations with Gunn and Safran, they had a conversation with Gal and were talking about the possibilities of bringing her back and having her develop a third Wonder Woman with them. And that conversation happened. But then once they finalized their agreement with Warner Brothers Discovery, they started to map out their DCU. They started to map out their 10-year plan. And then they realized they wanted to shed light on new characters. So I think that may be where the confusion is because we know how this industry works. You have a conversation with somebody and it doesn't matter how long time has passed. You feel like that conversation still holds true, but a lot of stuff can happen in between that conversation to where we are now today. So I feel like they didn't want to backpedal on gals proposition or gals, you know, ideas and things like that. But then they just came to grips and realized that they needed to build something on their own. That's what I believed happened. What about you? Um, yeah, well, I do believe that they, I believe that Gal Gadot is telling the truth. I believe that that mm. conversation did happen and I believe it was word for word what she said happened. That they said, you, don't worry about it. We love you as Wonder Woman. We're definitely going to develop a film with you. The, the future looks bright. I believe that yeah. conversation happened because if you remember, Momoa also came out along those similar lines and said that they were really happy with Aquaman and that there was a huge future for him in the DCU. And then all of a sudden now they're kind of like, well, but he might not be Aquaman. He might be somebody else. And then and now they're saying, oh, no, he's not going to be anybody else. And so now we don't even know if he's going to be Aquaman or not. But remember when he had that guy, he came out and was great meeting at Warner Brothers today. And they've assured me this, they that, but, you know, so I think they had those conversations with a few of the people. And yeah. I think – because in, in my reasoning is like what does Gail Gadot have to gain by lying about it? Like yeah, coming out and lying. saying that there, there, there's, there's no gain from that. She's not getting anything by coming out and making up a story like that. So there's no reason for her to do that, which is why I think she's telling the truth. And I think that what you said is most likely what happened, but – so why, I and I'm a huge fan of Gun, but I don't understand why you come out and try to discredit Gal, saying, right, "Oh, that's say that not how the conversation happened. That's not yeah. what we said." Just say it is what you said, and then say that things changed, and now that we Plans realize change, this and that, yep. and kind of, but we hope to work with Gail somehow, some way, and maybe this yep. or that or whatever. But don't try to discount that what she's saying is a lie because. Right. You know, to me, it's okay to say, yes, we had those conversations, but we've kind of decided that we want to move in a different direction, you know, kind of a thing. It's okay to say that. Don't – to to come out and try to deny that you ever said it and say that she's basic – now, without saying she's a liar, he's basically saying right. she's lying. And I, I didn't get the point of that. I'm just like, you're you're in a position to just say – we had a conversation and we decided to go in a different direction and we feel, yeah. you know, that's okay. So, and then of course, Saffron kind of did the same thing with um, Shazam. Because remember, mm -hmm. Peter Saffron was the the producer on uh, both the Shazam movies. And they mm -hmm. sure, be at the beginning of this whole thing, sure sounded like they were hinting that his his Shazam would be a part of the DCU. And now they seem to be backing off of that really quickly as well. So it's like, what the hell is going? Are you recasting everybody or do you plan on? My personal opinion, I think you have to recast everybody. I think so too. I think if you're rebooting the universe and you're trying a clean slate and you're trying to start over... You have to recast everybody. Now, if you want to keep Godot, do an Elseworld movie. That's a Wonder yeah. Woman in an Elseworld story. That's fine. Th mm -hmm. Do that. And you've already established that these would be separate universes. So people are good with that. They understand that. So, 
But it, I don't think it's a wise idea if you're calling it a full-on reboot, a full-on start over, let's clean the slate, to keep anybody from the past. I, I, I just don't think that's a good idea.